Hey guys, welcome back to Elan App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to add cancel order button in Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So for you to add a cancel order button on Shopify, what we need to do here is we need to install an app. So at the bottom left, go ahead and click on settings. And in here, you want to go ahead and click on the option that says apps and sales channels. Click on Shopify App Store at the top right here. And you want to go ahead and just type in the following, which is going to be cancel order just press on enter now from here you should be able to see different apps that you could actually use to cancel order here but we want to actually use the order cancel option here which is a free app that we could use let's go ahead and choose this one from here let's go ahead and click on install and from here what we need to do next is we just need to click on install once it's actually fully installed we are now ready to start using the actual app now, there are going to be some steps that you need to do here to enable this specific app into your store. So, in this case, it's quite simple. We just need to follow the on-screen steps here. So, first is we need to basically enable the app embed. Let's go and click on the enable app embed here. And it should open up another window, which in this case, you just need to see if the app is actually enabled in the app section here. So, it's going to enable that. So in this case, it's already enabled. Just click on save here to save the changes. That one's done. Let's go ahead and exit this one. Go back in here. Next, you want to do is you want to click on the add embed code here. So in this case, if checkout ex uh, extensibility is not enabled in your store, add the app embed code to the additional script field in the settings of checkout. Display the order cancel widget to on the order status page. In this case, you can go and click on get embed code here. We've copied that. Let's go and click on checkout here. And from here, we want to basically go to order cancel widget on the order status page here. So in this case, let's go and go back in here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to add our script. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to look for the order status page of the scripts here. We also have the checkout rules. So in this case, you go to the additional script section here and want to go ahead and highlight anything that you have here. So you need to add this one. So um, in this case, I'm not using that additional script before. So I want to highlight everything here. Get paste our script here. Click on save to save our changes. But once we've done that, we're now ready to go back in here. Next you want to do is you want to add the app block here. So if checkout extensibility is not enabled on your store, open the checkout editor. You want to go to store status page here. Add the order cancel widget app to block to display the widget on your order status page. Let's go and click on checkout editor here. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we just need to wait for it to load up. So everything is actually done automatically uh, in here. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to basically uh, do what was asked for us before. So, so in this case, you want to click on checkout here. You want to go to order status. And from here, you want to go to the left panel here, go to sections. And from here, you want to uh, basically uh, add your uh, block here. So in this case, at the left panel here, click on add app block here. You want to click on order cancel widget. And that should add your widget here. In this case, all you need to do is you just need to click on save to save your changes. And in here, let's go ahead and go back. Now, in this case, you now have a cancel on order option. Now, if you want to access different settings here, you could go to settings. So in this case, you could do or enable a few things here. So in this case, if you want to further further customize it. You also have the translation here if you want to add some translations on it. Also have the help section just in case if you're having some problems with the actual app. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Ulan app. Thank you for watching.